Guys, it's Claire Matara, <coughs> talking from the Amazon in Peru. It's the 12th of May, 2022. Um, I wanted to read a little something from uh, the book Lord Meher, from Meher Baba, um, my master. This is Lord Meher from 1934 to 1940, and it's called The Supreme Liberator. This is a, a, just a one page, and it talks about Garrett Ford, who in that time um, was very keen to help Mehababa and surrendering his life and followed his instructions and do everything for his course. So um, he, he went back home, and, um, and here goes the story. As things tragically turned out, Garrett Ford returned to Hollywood to face years of unemployment and inactivity. He plunged deeply in debt and wrote long letters to Baba detailing his plight. Not finding work was sheer torture for him, and it was deeply frustrating not to be able to earn any money for Baba's cause. The irony of the matter was that during this period of contact, Meher Baba would actually send him money from time to time. Meher ba Several months of communication passed between Baba and Ford. After one of Ford's whining letters, as he himself described them, asking Baba do, to do something to help him, while in France, Baba sent the following letter. So this was written from Cannes on the 3rd of October, 1937. Baba said, Now you know that your earning power, like all your talents, is a grace from me, given or withheld, as I deem best for your spiritual evolution. This is especially so for people who who have given their life to Baba. You said in your letter that you have surrendered your life to me and that you have no ambition but to serve me, that you are a soldier ready for the call, but apparently you do not like the call that has been given to you. You want the war to be conducted according to your ideas, not mine. Try to remember, dear Garrett, that you are doing my work, which is as ancient as I am. In surrendering your life to me, you must be prepared to follow my instructions implicitly implicitly, without caring for the results, which are in my hands and depend upon my will. My promises are always kept, but in my own way and at my own time. I am not a writer, so I do not always express myself as well as you might wish. I am not a pedagogue, so I do not tell you in advance what the lesson for tomorrow will be. I am God, the Supreme Liberator, and if you knew what strides you have been making towards liberation, by the trials through which you have been going since you left me. If you knew what strides you have been making towards liberation, by the trials through which you have been going since you left me, you would be overcome with gratitude instead of felt filled with discontent. It is true, I use the circumstances of everyday life to liberate my devotees, but I use them in a way that is beyond the comprehension of the intellect. So you must not expect me to provide you with blueprints of my plan, plans, either individual or universal. Have faith in me, supreme faith. I am always with you, directing you as my own vehicle, my own son. Whatever is accomplished in all that you do or do not do is always my will. You are an instrument in my divine orchestra, an instrument which I need, but which must be perfected. I shall never fail you, nor will you fail me. You must continue to be brave as you have been. That's the end of that. And uh, it also reminds me of a time when I was really searching for God. And, um, and I asked in, t uh, in myself, what can I do to f for you, Baba? How can I follow you? How can I be a good servant? And I opened the Bible. At that time, that was one of the books I had with me. And it said, those who believe in the Father do my work. And I thought that was interesting. I thought only believing, no, you don't have to do anything special, just believe. And um, that was interesting because I just opened it up and that's what the message that I got, which I thought was very, um, it really touched me in my heart. And I think the believing means that 
by believing in the master, we actually are allowing the master to use us for his work. And so then we do his work, but not through the ego, not through the idea that we are doing something great, you know, we're doing something special. No, we're just trying to please him. We're just trying to think of him. And all the things that flow out of that are somehow Baba's work, Baba's will, Baba's wish. So there we are for today. Thank you very much for listening. And um, please leave a like and subscribe. Until another day. Bye-bye.